Hello guys, it's Stryker, man. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we're going to be talking about the Champions, I mean the Euro, uh, UEFA Europa League uh, round of 16 uh, draft, draw, and uh, what it's going to be my prediction. And uh, yeah, we're going to yeah, tell you my prediction. So the teams that we got, what, what uh, 32 teams left in the tournament. We got Chelsea, we have Zenit, we have Arsenal, we have Dynamo, Zagreb, we got Frankfurt, we got Napoli, we got Valencia, we got Sevilla. Uh, we have uh, Villarreal, Reyes, um, Dynamo Kiev, International Inter, Benfica, um, Slavia, Sla pra Praha, Krasnodar, and uh, Salzburg, man. Red RB Salzburg, Red Bull Salzburg. So those are the teams that's left in the tournament. And uh, very interesting uh, so far, man. So uh, we got, so the first draw was Chelsea versus uh, Dynamo Zagreb, man. The team from England versus uh Dynamo, uh, sorry, Dynamo Keith, and um, yeah, man, uh, Chelsea won the tournament a few years ago. But what, like back in 2015, they won it, or 13, one of those years they won it, man. And uh, yeah, I, I, in my opinion, I think Chelsea's Chelsea's my favorite to win the tournament, but you know, anything could go. And uh, Chelsea versus Dynamo Keith, man, I think Chelsea should be able to win this one comfortable. Uh, they're looking very good in the tournament so far. Eden Hazard has been playing very well. They got uh Eguain on loan. Um Eguain on loan. Uh, I'm not sure. Did is Eguain uh, playing in this tournament? Because I know he was at AC Milan. I'm not sure if yeah, I don't think Eguain could play in this tournament because um he was playing for AC Milan and I believe AC Milan um was in this tournament, so um he can't play for them again, so which is which is which sucks. In my opinion um but chelsea do have Odoi. Odoi has been doing a very good job and they have a very good team overall man so i should be i i got chelsea winning this one easily and uh yeah i got chelsea winning this one really uh next we have uh frankfurt versus inter uh frankfurt has been playing very well in this tournament so far they they won their last game like what four zero two uh against uh, lazio I believe correct me if i'm wrong who they play but yeah, they won the game comfortable last time, and they look good in the tournament so far. And um, yo, know, those guys they have up top, man, was like um, Ivanovic. Is the Ivanovic? I forgot the Paris. They got they got a few Croatian guys up top, like Joe Fish, and a few uh, Croatian players up top, man. And those guys have been playing very well, man. Their their front three is just dangerous. Uh, but I got um, Inter Milan has a, a lot of talented players like um icardi and those guys man but i'm going with uh inter milan for this one i know frankfurt going to put up a hard fight versus inter it could go either way but my money's on inter milan uh we got dynamo is a group from croatia versus benfica benfica pretty much cursed for this tournament they came like the, the coach had put like a hundred year um a hundred year curse on them like they can't win any international uh any like uh european tournament and that has been <laughs> And they went to the the final like uh, two times like a few years ago, two times in the last ten years they went to the um, the Europa League final and they lost both of those uh, both times. And uh, Dynamo is a great man; they're playing very good so far. And um, yeah, my money's on Benfica though. I think Benfica they're going some rough, uh, rough path right now in the in the Portuguese league, man. But I think they should have enough more than enough to overcome uh, Dynamo is a great. And uh, it's gonna be a hard fight, uh, hard fight fixture, man. But my money is on Benfica. Uh, we got Napoli versus RB Salzburg. RB Salzburg looking very good right now. Uh, they played the RB uh, Leipzig uh, in their group stage. They beat them easily, and uh, they're looking very good right now. They're playing some good football. They was in like the quarterfinal of the 2018, 17-18 uh, season of the Europa League, man. So they're looking very good right now. Uh, Napoli, um, not really performing too good. They're second place right now in the uh, in the Serie A, which is kind of good. But they're like a lot of points behind, almost ten or more. It's close to like ten points or more than ten points uh, below uh, behind uh, Juventus. Man, Juventus hasn't really lost a game yet in the in the Serie A, man. But my money's on Napoli. I know Sabri playing very well, man. But I think Napoli uh, has a great talented uh, coach, Ancelotti. And they do have a very good squad, man. So my money is on Napoli. Uh, next game we have Valencia versus uh, Krasnodar. Um, I do have Valencia winning versus Krasnodar. Um, Sofia versus uh, Slavia. Praha, man. Praha 
they're pretty much punching over their weight class, man. Team from Czech Republic. And, uh, yeah, man, my money's on Sevilla. I know Sevilla is very inconsistent, man, but um, I got them to win this game. Uh, next we have is uh, Arsenal versus uh, Reynes. Reynes is from uh, France, man. Reynes has been doing fantastic so far in this tournament. Doing very well. Last year, they did very well in the Ligue 1. This year, they're not doing too well in Ligue 1. They're in like 11th place right now, which is not kind of good. Uh, they definitely got to start winning games to get back into that European position or European spot. And uh, Arsenal, man, they're pretty much what, fifth place right now in the Premier League. They went on a, like a 23-game, 22-game undefeated streak, but they still didn't uh, win enough game to really have them challenging for the title or in the top four, man. So, um, yeah, man, my money's on Arsenal, though. Um, Lacazette is um, banned from the next two, from this fixture, both legs, because of the red card he, he picked up versus... Uh, who did Arsenal play? I forgot who Arsenal played, man, but he picked up a red card in that game and uh, he suspended for two games. I think that was uncalled for. If it was Ronaldo or somebody else, they would never got like two game suspension, man. So Arsenal played uh, Bate Borisov in the, in the last fixture. Um, but yeah, I got Arsenal winning this, winning this game. I'm not, I think they're going to probably struggle um, on the road, but they should be able to win the first leg that's going to play at Emirates Stadium. Uh, Arsenal winning that one. Uh, next we have Zenit versus Villarreal. Team from Russia versus team from um, Spain. My money is on Zenit, man. I, I think Zenit has enough, more than enough to overcome Villarreal. It's going to be a, a great fixture. It's going to be a tough fixture, but it could go either way. But my money is on Zenit, man. So let me know if your team is still in the tournament, what team is supported. Let me know who you think going to win it. Um, but like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And with that, you boys out of here.